the vacuum left behind by an absent Lu Xiaojie, the undisputed king of the 81 kilo category, made this session exciting beyond the sum of its parts. Three weightlifters in particular had their eyes set on becoming the leader in the category, the person against whom all other 81s would measure themselves. The highly anticipated return of Mohammed Ehab from Egypt, the man who'd medalled at the world championship level four times before, even outsnatching Lu Xiaojun with a world record 173 kilos back in 2018. Next was the man, or perhaps I should say the boy, whose name excites a comment section more than any other at this point, the 17-year-old Bulgarian sensation who clean and jerked 206 kilos in his first senior international meet early in 2021, Carlos Nassar. And finally, the most unorthodox lifter, technically, in the world, Marin Robu from Moldova, whose technique has ignited more conversations about proper movement than most other weightlifters. A physical obstruction in his right ankle that forces him to catch with pretty much a vertical right shin, causing twisting and the torso and a certain level of awkwardness that's just unparalleled in the sport currently. The back room was absolutely humming with energy during this session. What happens in the back room adds so much to the story of a weightlifting competition, and it's such a shame that the general public and fans of the sport watch a competition and don't see what's happening behind the scenes. The misses, the waving back up and down, the screams and the tantrums that happened during this session back here, back here where I had to sneak in to capture it, where no other cameras will show what's happening, made this session far richer and far more interesting than what is shown simply on the live stream. At Weightlifting House we have a lot more of this type of content coming so please do subscribe to make sure you see that we're trying to hit 60,000 subs. I've often said that watching weightlifting competitions by only seeing what happens on the platform is a bit like watching basketball and only seeing the few feet in front of each net, or watching football and only seeing the penalty spot and beyond, but missing out on the majority of the court and the pitch. You miss out on all of the build up and all of the context. The difference, for example, between these three athletes' openers in terms of the platform lift is pretty small, it's just a few kilos, but the difference back room between how they got there is huge. Marin Robu is happy but focused, Mohamed Ehab looks emotional, worried, nervous, and Carlos Nassar looks absent, he's doing as he's told, he's lacking in the emotions that you'd expect from someone who's ready to break senior records as a teenager. Over the previous weeks, the 17-year-old Carlos Massar had been posting some unbelievable lifts online, matching the world record snatch at 175 kilos, and then smashing the clean and jerk record at 210 kilos. Marin Robu, whose progress I'd been monitoring closely, having had my interest piqued by him during my filming of him in early 2020, back when he was a 73, had been regularly posting snatches around the 170 kilo mark, with jerks over Lou's world record. And Mohamed Ehab, of course, has such a history of elite levels of performance that despite Egypt's ban that flung him out of the competition for the last two years, I was still keen to see what he could do. A few days prior upon arriving at the training hall, Ehab had missed a 180 kilo cleaning jerk and then hurt his leg cleaning it just a few minutes later, so his performance here was far from predictable. What generally amazes me about the back room is just how unpredictable things can be. It's rare that an athlete times their warm-ups perfectly, hits their final warm-up attempt and then heads out two minutes later for their opener. And if it does happen, it's rare that their good fortune continues. 
The number of times that Muhammad Ihab had to build up to 140 kilos or more was three times. In fact, every athlete in this video had to wave up multiple times in order to maintain their readiness to hit their next attempt on the platform. You also begin to notice things in the back room about who each team is nervous of. Marin Robu's Moldovan coaches, for example, went over to watch Mohamed Ihab's opener, as did many other coaches, to get a read on the kind of shape that he was in. Carlos Nassar also was a source of huge interest for the other coaches, but unfortunately for them, not only did he open last, he warms up incredibly quickly. So if you're down at one end filming Mohamed Ihab and you notice Carlos Nassar stands up, you need to move straight away to go and film him, or you'll just miss it. And there's very little preamble, I suppose this is just a consequence of the multiple daily maximum attempts the Bulgarians are known for that make a 95% lift very nonchalant and not worthy of an increase in state arousal. Hence, I suppose, his general calmness this entire competition. Having managed to sneak into the back room, I had to keep somewhat of a low profile, particularly during the first few minutes. Fortunately, I was able to stay in there for the majority of the time, but by halfway into the clean and jerks about 80 minutes later, I was removed. That whole clean and jerk session, therefore, because of the change in continuity, I've put up on the Weightlifting House Patreon if you're interested. But we do plan on working with the IWF in the future in order to gain better backroom access and hopefully bring the backroom closer to the fans. After everybody had successfully made their openers, Mohamed Ihab ended up missing his second snatch attempt at 164 kilos, and he began getting visually stressed and almost panicked, prowling around more, yelling more, almost as though he was trying to convince himself and maybe even the athletes and coaches around him that he could make it, and that he was still the type of lifter who could snatch 173 kilos. It became clear though, particularly after his third attempt and miss at 164 kilos, that this was a battle between Marin Robu and the wonder kid from Bulgaria, Carlos Nassar. Marin's best competition snatch was 156 kilos back as a 73 kilo lifter but he'd made 160 kilos in the training hall a week prior look very easy. His second attempt at 165 kilos was textbook, at least for him and his technique, and that forced Carlos Nassar to take 166 kilos for the lead. While all athletes and coaches in the back room looked on, watching the three second delayed video in the back room, Carlos made that lift. And Robu then went out for his third and final attempt at 168 kilos, an enormous personal record of competition by 12 kilos. Watching it from the back room was incredible because there's this three second lag between what we could hear from the audience as it actually happened and what we could see on screen just meters away. The sounds of surprise at the catch and then the gasps as he struggled to save the lift and then the cheers as he stood it up. We were almost on the edge of our seats in the back room unaware as to whether he was going to make it until finally the video caught up. It was only later when I reviewed our competition footage that I realised just how incredible a save that lift was. To rock so far forward onto his toes only to regain balance and come up with the weight was spectacular. With one attempt remaining for the whole snatch portion of the competition, Carlos Nassar took an attempt at 169 kilos, having already set a youth world record on his second attempt. Despite wanting to see what would happen, 
the Moldovan coaches sent Marin to go and start warming up for the clean and jerks because despite being a top snatcher, his clean and jerk lacks quite a bit and so he has to be quick. Everybody knew that Carlos Nassar was going to be able to clean and jerk a world record, do what he needed at the end to take the gold medal. But this lift, nobody truly knew. And the whole stadium, the fans, the coaches, the athletes, stopped and watched as the unemotional 17-year-old walked up to and attempted the 169 kilo gold medal snatch. But upon missing, we finally saw some emotion come out of the 17-year-old. Without all of this backroom footage, we miss so much. We miss the nods from one coach to another after seeing a competitor make or miss a lift. We see the nervous energy of the athletes, the emotions as they make or miss lifts. The clean and jerk session that involves Carlos Nassar setting a new world record and taking the win will be available on the Weightlifting House Patreon page in the next couple of days. There's a link down below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe.